everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla, and today I'm going to be giving you 10 different ways you can style your box braids. Because I know after a while you'll be like, what am I supposed to do with them? So if that's you, I'm here for you. But before we get into the video, please go like, comment, and subscribe. Because if you're not subscribed, then what you really doing with your life? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Period. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey y'all, so I'm going to be popping in and out of the video to explain like in more detail what I did for these hairstyles, but majority of them are pretty self-explanatory, so sit back and enjoy. So for this half up, half down look, you'll see me using a shoelace because first of all, it's a whole lot of braids. So that's a lot of work trying to twist it around with a regular elastic band. So you will see me using a shoelace throughout the entire video. Tip, if you got box braids, you might want to get a shoelace, honey, because <laughs> the shoelace helps. In a couple sections of the videos you'll see me like holding my hands up like one and two and i guess after a while i got lazy and stopped doing it so ignore that y'all For this hairstyle, you're going to want to pull four pieces from the front and make sure they're kind of coming from the same section. And you'll actually see me twisting them in the front of my face so they don't pull back when I'm actually pulling my hair into a ponytail. So with the remainder of the hair that you pull to make the swoop, you want to wrap it around the back of the ponytail holder to cover the elastic band. So for this hairstyle, you see me twisting pieces in the front of my head. Um, anytime you're actually twisting your box braids or singly twists or whatever you have, you want to make sure you twist them or braid them pretty tight because you don't want them to unravel. Um, I don't have any help at the moment, so I'm using a elastic band to wrap around it so it doesn't unravel while I'm twisting the other side back. And then you simply pull the two pieces back and wrap it around with an elastic band. Now you see me going in and fixing my edge because, honey, <laughs> if your edge is not done, then baby, your style ain't done. And that's just period. 
So for this hairstyle specifically and any other you decide to do, I got fancy with it and added a little bun in the back. So anytime you want to add a cute little accessory to it, you can definitely add a bun. So once again, you see me pulling four pieces from the front. Like I said before, make sure you try to pull them from like the same section and then you're gonna flip your head forward or however you make a high ponytail and go from there. All I'm gonna say is get you a shoelace because if you by yourself and trying to put your box braids up into a ponytail, this is the way to go, I'm telling you. Now you see me taking those four pieces of hair and making sure it's flat enough to create a swoop. Um, like I did in the low ponytail, you want to take the remainder of the hair and wrap it around the elastic band. You can twist it to be fancy, which is what I did, and I wrapped it around the elastic band and just tucked it. So this is literally like my all-time favorite box braid hairstyle. I think it's really cute. Um, and to add like a little pop or whatever, you can definitely add scarves and any other thing you want to like accessorize on top of it. I use the African print scarf. Shout out to my mom because it's her scarf. Um, and you want to twist it in a knot. I see a lot of people like make a little bun on the top but me personally I just knotted it like I would tie my tennis shoe and then I flatten the sides out and I tuck them in the back of the scarf So this is a high ponytail, of course, with two pieces hanging out to like accent your face shape. Um, I didn't want to take my ponytail out and like restart my whole ponytail. So you see me twisting around like the two extra braids and it worked out because I actually used it to cover the elastic band. So like I said, if you can cover the elastic band, I would cover it. But if you have a black shoelace, like I recommend, once again, get you one that it should work out perfectly. So now you see me creating a bun what I recommend is actually spreading like the hair all over your head and you're gonna twist it I actually twist the hair up so it kind of like secures the bun in place almost but if you don't feel like it's secure then I definitely use an elastic band or whatever bobby pins or whatever you want
box braid hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And before you leave, hit the post notification bell down below so you're notified every single time I make the video.